This International Space Station, or ISS, is proof of human ingenuity. It's a symbol of countries all over the world working together. This amazing space station orbits Earth about 250 miles or 400 kilometers above us. The ISS is a unique laboratory where scientists can do new research in low gravity. Building and operating it is a huge feat of engineering. It's an example of international cooperation from all over the world. The biggest partners in this amazing project are the United States, Russia, Europe, Japan and Canada. The ISS represents our greatest dreams and shows what we can achieve together. It's a symbol of unity and progress, inspiring future generations to reach for the stars. For many decades, the idea of space stations has captured our imaginations. In the 1960s, early concepts emerged, laying the foundation for the space stations we know today. In 1971, the Soviet Union launched Salyut 1, the first space station to orbit Earth. This marked a significant moment in space exploration, demonstrating that a long-term human presence in space was possible. The USA followed in 1973 with Skylab, a more advanced station that hosted three crews and made valuable scientific observations. Although these early stations were limited in scope, they laid the groundwork for larger, more ambitious projects. In 1986, the Soviet Union launched Mir, a modular space station that represented a major step toward a permanent human presence in space. After the Cold War ended, a new era of cooperation began. In the early 1990s, America and Russia started working together on a huge project, building an international space station. This big project would combine both countries, space station programs and other countries would help too. This collaboration showed that all countries could work together in space exploration and how powerful international partnerships can be. The European Space Agency, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency and Canadian Space Agency also joined this project. This partnership created a new way for space exploration and paved the way for one of the biggest and most complex technological projects in human history. Building the ISS was a huge task. It took more than 10 years and countless hours of work. The first module, Zarya, launched in 1998 and the assembly began. This module provided the station's initial power and propulsion. Then came Unity, the first US-built module, which connects the station's different modules. Over the next 13 years, more than 30 missions delivered additional components like laboratories, docking ports and solar arrays. Each successful mission added another piece to this extraordinary puzzle. The final major module, Leonardo, was installed in 2011, completing the ISS assembly. Since November 2000, the ISS has been continuously occupied. This shows the dedication and expertise of the international partners. This is an amazing achievement in human spaceflight. This continuous presence has made long-duration research possible. It has expanded our understanding of living and working in space. More than 250 astronauts from 19 countries have visited and stayed on the ISS. They have conducted thousands of experiments. They have performed critical maintenance tasks. This station serves as a platform for international collaboration and promotes a sense of shared purpose among nations. The ISS is a marvel of engineering. It's the largest human-made object in space. You can even see it from Earth with the naked eye. The station's structure is modular. This allows for flexibility in configuration and expansion. It has interconnected pressurized modules, external trusses, solar arrays and thermal radiators. The station's power comes from eight solar arrays. These convert sunlight into electricity. This electricity powers the station's systems. This provides a continuous source of energy. The ISS uses a complex propulsion system. This system includes gyroscopes and thrusters. This helps it maintain its orbit. It counteracts the effects of atmospheric drag. The station's life support system provides breathable air. It also keeps the temperature constant and recycles water. All of this is essential for human survival in the harsh environment of space. Section 7. Pushing the frontiers of knowledge, the ISS has led to invaluable scientific discoveries. This station serves as a unique platform for research in many fields. This research has significantly advanced our knowledge in several areas. In the field of medicine, experiments on the ISS have provided insights into muscle atrophy, bone loss and the cardiovascular system. 
The microgravity environment offers a unique opportunity to study the effects of space on the human body. This knowledge is crucial for future long-duration space missions, including missions to Mars. In the field of physics, the ISS has enabled experiments on fluid dynamics, crystal growth and combustion. These experiments have led to a deeper understanding of fundamental physical processes. They have potential applications in numerous industries and technologies. The ISS also plays a vital role in Earth and climate studies. From its vantage point, the station provides unparalleled views of our planet. This perspective allows scientists to monitor climate change, track weather patterns and study natural disasters. The ISS has also been instrumental in technology development. Many technologies originally developed for the space station have found applications on Earth. These technologies range from water purification systems to advanced materials and robotics. Section 8. A triumph of international collaboration. The ISS is proof of the power of international collaboration. It's a shining example of what humanity can achieve when countries work together towards a common goal. The project's success relies on the knowledge and resources of many countries. This collaboration goes beyond political differences that has fostered a sense of shared purpose. The ISS will serve as a model for international cooperation in the future. It shows that countries can put aside their differences to tackle global challenges. It demonstrates the importance of discussion, dialogue and mutual respect for achieving common goals. Part 9. The next chapter, An Adventure in Space. As the ISS approaches the end of its operational life, its retirement is being planned. One day this station will cease operation, but its legacy will always be remembered, serving as an inspiration for generations to come. In the future, the next step in space exploration is commercial space stations. These stations in low Earth orbit will create new opportunities for research, tourism and industries. And the Lunar Gateway, a space station in lunar orbit, will serve as a bridge for human exploration of the Moon and beyond. Section 10. The Enduring Legacy of the International Space Station the International Space Station will always be remembered as a significant chapter in human history. It stands as a testament to our shared ambition, ingenuity and the power of international collaboration. The ISS has not only expanded our understanding of the universe but has also helped unite nations in the pursuit of knowledge and progress. As we look to the future, the lessons learned from the ISS will guide us in our continued exploration of space. The station's legacy will inspire future generations, encouraging them to reach for the stars and push the boundaries of human achievement.